Yeah, it's been pretty good. Uh, we know that this week was always going to be a little bit of a distraction somewhere along because we haven't been in this position as a club. We're relatively new to this sort of environment, but it's something that we embrace. We look forward to it. Um, preparation has been extremely good. Uh, there's a really nice buzz around the place. And we're excited to be here. It's a big day. It's a big day for the club. It's a historical moment for the football club. And uh, we as a club, we're still growing, but we're excited to be looking forward to the game. You've, you've won all the biggest <coughs> cups, or just about all the biggest cups in, in world football. Does that experience help you when you're, because you're only four games, five games now into your, into your coaching career? Well, it does play a part. Unfortunately, I won't be on the pitch. That, that's so... That's, uh, without saying, um, but yeah, my experience hopefully will play a part and make sure the players are calm and collective, uh, really focus on the game rather than the occasion, which always seems to be a little bit of a distraction. But um, yeah, I think my players are fully focused and ready to, to go. Do you feel almost like you'd rather play in a, another A-League team? Because, I mean, these guys are living their dream, aren't they? This is, this is the biggest game of their lives for a lot of them. So. Yeah, it's a big game for all of us. Everybody is involved, not just me, the, the players, the fans. The club is very relatively new, we are three years in. This is a historical moment. You want to be part of it. That's the reason why we play here. We play at this level to win major competition, and we give ourselves that opportunity. Now it's for us to step up and try and make sure we do everything right. But we know that there is an opposition that uh, is going to be playing their part. They, they come in here expecting to, to win because that's uh, the ultimate goal. Um, but we are, we are fully focused and raring to go. What did, you, sorry, what did you learn about your team in the semi-final? Because it's almost a perfect <coughs> rehearsal for, for what you're going to experience tomorrow. You went behind early, you were playing away against a small semi-pro club but with parochial supporters. And you came back and you, you held your nerve, if you like. Yeah, I think I, I, you know, each time that we go out as a team, I continue to learn about my players. Um, we've been in front in every game. And there will be a time when we were certainly going to be tested, a team score against. And what I've seen within my team is a character that they can you know, show their, 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 their ability to bounce back. And they did that with, with terrific form. I wasn't too concerned because... I needed to see my players do something that I didn't expect and uh, the way that they did turn the game around that gives me a lot of encouragement and I'm excited so as I said I continue to learn about my players um, uh, and this is fantastic for our football club. You were, Ulysses, I'd like to learn about your manager as a manager, what's it like playing uh, underneath White as a manager? No, obviously he's playing a big role for us, like learn about him, about like a uh, soccer player who was a top player, so we, we every day, like he's learning, we are learning from him. Uh, he's passing all, all that experience, you know, in the high level. So, yeah, like a team, like a player, is 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 very, it's amazing to have him like a coach, and and you can see the team, no, the team is is copying his his idea, is is trying to learn what he wants. So I think we are in a good position, and and it's amazing to be in this position, in this position with him, and and like what he said, the the club. It's, it's a big moment for the club if is we can make history. So yeah, I think we are in a in a great position and obviously in the head of, of Dua. Uli, you came to MacArthur because they wanted a player of your quality for moments like this. This is a great opportunity for you too. You you start, you were instrumental in turning around the semi final because you were behind and, and you got the goal to get back on level terms. Are you looking forward to tomorrow? Yeah, everyone is excited for tomorrow. everyone is looking to, to be here tomorrow, uh, so so yeah, I think we we've been preparing very well the last not not just the last week, no, the last what six weeks, seven yeah. weeks. So I think the team is the team is ready. Everyone is just just waiting for the moment for the kickoff and yeah, try to give a, a nice game, a nice nice result for us for the club and obviously to to give the fans happy. In the in the semi final, it was quite physical <laughs> for, for you in in particular. Are you? Do you think it could be a little bit similar tomorrow against a, a semi-professional side that will want to prove so much to you? Yeah, no, no, we don't have to disrespect anyone. We know they, they will come and try to, to, to do their best. They will try to win and I have to, we have to be prepared. I know we'll be very physically, but that's why we, we play football. Hey, Dwight, the last time you were here, mate, um, this stadium wasn't built. <laughs> what do you make of this stadium? Well, first impression, I think, is fantastic when you look at it. Uh, I wish I could put my boots on again, but that's not going to happen. But nevertheless, I think the arena, the, the, the stage is set. We expect a, a very good crowd in as well. 
And for players, managers, owners, everybody involved with the both sets of fans, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic occasion for both clubs. And uh, as I said, we, we're here for the reason for that. And, uh, and having this stadium to play, hopefully the crowds will come out and enjoy a fantastic game of football between two good, very good teams. Well, it's no secret. It's my first job, and uh, I, I couldn't envision it to be the way it turned out to this stage. But uh, I will take it, and certainly winning is what matters. No one n no remembers this, the team that comes second. We need to win it. That was my first message to the players when I entered into the competition, and we realized that there's going to be a, a, a momentum-building uh, time for us as a football club. And here we are, we're in the final, we're excited, we're delighted to be here. The players are excited, the fans will be, um, and I'm sure the opposition will as well. But we're looking forward to it. We, as we said, we've been preparing, we, we, we're still relatively new, we're still building. Um, we've been here three months together, uh, and to get to this stage just shows that the progress that was, was make, we are making as a football club, it's an exciting one. Can I just ask questions? We've got to get to the train. Last so. question. You were best on, man Tom. at Boz's <laughs> wedding. Luckily, that was two weeks ago because you know he's a mad Sydney United fan. Are you worried if you win tomorrow that it could uh, cause a rift in your friendship? I don't think so. I don't think so. We we uh, we got we got a, a, a lot of history between us. I understand that is his family club, but his best mate is here at uh, Macarthur, <laughs> and he has to deal with it. Uh, I'm sure I'll be uh, next to him at some point. I can't lose. <laughs> Whoever wins, I win. <laughs>